Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story. So in the last episode, let's see what did we do. So we found this room that is basically a, this game's version of a safe room. Then we made an offering to make that one ghost go away. And then we learned more about the past of the ghost of the crying little girl. And that's pretty much it really, nothing too earth shattering. So let's see if we will find or face something more earth shattering in this episode. So without further ado, let's continue with the rest of the game here. Okay, uh, what items did I have again? A joystick, an offering cup, so we can make another offering if we need to. I got two Betamax tapes, so I can save manually like this uh, two more times. A lighter and a lockpick. Oh yeah, I believe that I believe that I believe that we could use this lockpick to open that one toolbox or whatever whatever it was in that one uh, room with the key master uh, key master keys keysmith's tool machine that you used to make keys it was over here somewhere if I'm not oh yeah there's crap there's now glitches are after us we are haunted by glitches now, folks. Forgot about that. This was 205. What room was this? Was this a safe room? Yes, this was the safe room. Okay. And that is a room that had that we entered last time. Yeah, the little girl was. The crying one was over there. Yeah, nothing else. I can't open that door. So yeah, we are pretty much done here. Okay, so we have to... How do we get past that glitch? Can it even hurt us? Can we just run past it? I mean, I don't see... Yes, we can, okay. It was that simple. Okay, uh, I don't remember the... Uh, the I don't remember the number of the room that we are looking for. So when they are glitchy like that, I can run past them. That's good to know. It's not that. We can just hide in there. Damn it! It's not this room. <laughs> we we ran we we ran past it. Okay. Okay. Well, let's try this again. I knew we went past it. I just freaking knew it. Apparently the ghost is not here anymore. Maybe it's maybe it's in the other corridor now. Okay. There we go. Oh, and the chest is There we go. Open trunk. Okay. What's in there? The lock big disintegrated. Of course it disintegrated. Okay, let's take a look. It's uh, it's filled with uh, letters to someone named Shua in apartment 206. Well, might as well re read one. Dear Shua, please forgive me for scaring you. I did not mean to make you upset. I just wanted to know you. If you will just look at this photo, then you will understand. I am sorry. Mr. Shu will probably fire me, but I want to tell you the truth. I love you. Well, that doesn't sound creepy at all, considering that Shua was a uh, was that little girl, if I'm not mistaken. Tan Tony Ngilgen, how how however you spell that. There's a photo attached. Every letter I check looks the same. Okay, so that's the that's the photo of the uh, U.S. soldier that we also saw earlier on some table here. Maybe it was in this room, and then. And that's an Asian Asian child. Hard to say if it's a girl or a boy. Hmm, there's something hidden under the leathers. Well, what's that? Take elevator key. Nice. It looks like an emergency elevator release tool. I bet I can use this to open the elevator doors on the west uh, on the west end of the hall. Okay, nice. Let's see. Is the what's the picture here? Oh, hey. You are here. Yeah, this one. This photo matches the one from the trunk. 
I think I understand what happened now. Anyway, it seems like that spirit intends to leave me alone for now, but maybe an offering will help him rest. Well, we do have an... Well, we do happen to have... Rice offerings and... Sticks. Hmm? Okay, well, he's... He's calmed down. He's gone, I, I take it. Was that the... Oh, hey. Another ghost. Okay, so we are done with that. And if I understood correctly, we can use this... Uh, this emergency elevator tool on this elevator here. Let's see. Maybe I can get the doors open somehow. Old elevators like this typically have an emergency release key. It's got to be around here somewhere. Now to open the doors. Yep, open it. Well, the doors are open. Uh, are now open. I just need something to reach the elevator car. I'll need to find something sturdy enough to climb on. The chairs I have, the chairs I have seen are all made of uh, old rotten wood uh, and likely unsafe. Okay. Maybe there's something. Maybe there's something in this corridor that we can use. Oh, didn't want to do that. I was thinking about picking up this flower pot, but I guess not. I guess not. And what was this thing? Another altar, but like. Apparently we can't interact with it. Okay, let's check. Let's check this room since we, we were so close to this. Manager's desk. Manager here. This is where we made the made our first offering in the last episode. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing here. Nothing in that room that that, that we can use. All right, fine. Well, since I'm not sure what I'm what I'm looking for exactly, might as well check every single one of these rooms again. I'm also keeping an eye eye on the PDA's uh, red light if it flat if it happen if it happens to flash. Anything here? Nope. Not that, not that I or the... Maybe here. You would think that there's something in this place. But wasn't there a ghost here as well? Oh, was that the one? Oh, hey, what's that? A jade uh, bangle. It looks just like mine. It protected me from that thing. Maybe I should take this one just in case. Yeah, you do that. Mm -hmm. This must be where that ghost hides e everything he stole. I'm sorry, but I need this walk more than you do. What? We're gonna use the walk? It's just a plastic crate. We could use that. This could work pretty well as a tool. Uh, as a stool, even. Several glass bottles. There's an odd smell coming from them. But in an emergency, puddles like this might come in handy. I don't know how, but whatever you say. All right, but now we got the crate and we got the walk uh, thing a thingy again. We smelled that one in the last episode, so I don't get why we why we would need it again. But hey, we picked it up. All right, now let's get on the elevator. I have to find something sturdy enough to climb on. This crate will definitely hold my weight. Hmm. Oh shit. 
jump scares. Classic. Okay, checkpoint reached. Great. And doesn't that lead us to stairs? Damn it, another locked door. I just want to find a way out of here. Of course it's locked. Okay, well, let's see what's over here. The knob doesn't turn and the door won't budge. There isn't even a number up. This mustn't this mustn't be an a be an, an apartment. What are you talking about? There is a there is a a number there. 303. What do you mean there's no number up? Silly girl. Oh. I guess we won't be going there. Not just yet anyway. Uh, what what was What's over here? An offering cup. I can definitely use this. Alright, we picked that one up. Let's leave that room for now. Mm -hmm. Is that a... Either a cat or a do uh, dog is lost. According to that poster. This door is also jammed. The stairs collapsing must have affected more of this stairwell than I had thought. What was that? Someone messing with the... Someone messing with the tubes or... Apartment 305. The door is locked. Of course it is. And this looks like a crime scene. There is police tape covering the door. Odd. Something must have happened here just before the building was abandoned. Oh, you think? Remove, remove the police tape. And the door is unlocked. Great. Okay, and is that a... is that a pig head? Yes, it is. Other than being completely terrifying, something feels off about this. What else? Uh, no, that's a door. Check kitchen. The sink is bloody and rusted over. Lovely. What, what does it say on the wall there? Mm, hide gone. I don't know. It's a large plastic bag with a rusted zipper. There might be something useful inside. If I can find something to loosen up the zipper, I can open the open the bag. So it's rusted shut. Do we need some do we need like a do we need like oil or something? It looks like a shrine, but a, but the offering cup has has spilled ashes everywhere. Okay. The table's covered in dirty tissues and what looks like college a homework. There's also a plastic bottle. Wait, did you just pick up a new item? At least the PDA was flashing. Um, plastic bottle, okay. It's a wooden uh, fish statue. It looks like it's got some kind of religious significance. What do we have on this shelf? There are plenty of books on chemistry and science here. There's even some classic comic books. This guy had great taste. Sounds like a nerd. Hmm. There are also some self-help books. Uh, spiraling, uh, spiraling in. A study in over, uh, a study in overcoming anxiety. West England. Oh, a Betamax, Betamax tape. Yes. So now we got three of those. We got three, right? Uh, three, yes. It looks like a college student's desk. It's covered in textbooks, homework, and notes. Amazing how little has changed in nearly a century. There's even a staple remover. This, uh, this staple remover may come in handy at some point. Examine chart. Uh, why not? Remember. Hmm. What substance was that? HQ80. Mercury. Is circled. Maybe something to, maybe something to do with an assignment. Okay. Uh, read note. It's a note from a friend or classmate. Hey Kev. I know it's not your bag, but, but you gotta come with us to see the new slasher flick. Stop being such a wuss. Plus, Joey is bringing a few hotties. We can finally show how Americans have fun, bro. 
P.S. Kelly will be there. I know you ha I know you had. I know you had your eye on her. G. Pay. This guy. This guy reminds me of some of Mac Makino's friends. Some people just like. Uh, some people just like staying in. You know. Yeah, like me. A box of old Chinese firecrackers. There's no guarantee they'll work, but it's worth taking them with me. Okay, so now now we got some firecrackers. Just a bathroom. The patio and the door seems to be unlocked. Well, can we enter there? Aha. Uh -huh. What do we have here? It looks like an old a thermometer holder. Uh, though the thermometer itself must have fallen off at some point. Just like before, I feel like there is a barrier separated, separating this building from the world. The city looks almost deserted. Okay. Despite the decades of, of, of uh, weathering, all this junk and garbage has somehow survived. Okay, was that everything? I guess so, okay. Something tells me that we need to bring the thermometer uh, back to its place. At some point. I would also like to find a new safe room. Before I before I end this episode. Okay. Should we just should we just go and enter this room here? This one here with the creepy ghost in it? Or actually let's not do that just yet. Let's check the other side of this building. There should be like maybe one or two doors. The elevator is here. The door is marked storage. It looks like I'll need a key to get in. Maybe the manager's apartment has one. I know I saw I know I saw some uh, more keys on the desk. I have to go back down. Apartment 301. It's open. Okay, great. Oh, there's some... There's a ghost of a construction worker, apparently. Crows. What's that? The window has a heavy, heavily rusted lock, lock on it. I can't even see a keyhole anymore. Just outside there is a fire escape. Unfortunately, it only goes up. Maybe I can try using the elevators on the fourth floor to get out of here. Either way, I need to get this lock off to open the window. Okay. Those crows look very defensive. I shouldn't try to get any closer. Maybe I can scare them away? Well, I have an idea. If I try, tr if I try throwing anything, it may only tick them off. A loud noise or flashing lights could be better. Well, use the fireworks or firecrackers, that's what I was thinking. These old fireworks could definitely do the trick. Plus, someone from outside may see and call the police. I just hope that I don't accidentally start a fire. That is the trick. This wall must have collapsed de decades ago. I don't see anyone below, so I doubt there is any point in screaming. Besides, something just isn't right with this building. Oh, you think? With all these ghosts and everything? That looks like a workshop of some kind. A workbench, even. A can of mechanical oil. This stuff's pretty useful. I suppose carrying it around isn't a bad idea. Okay, so we must use that for the rusted zipper, I bet. So let's do exactly that. It was this room, right? Over there. It's a large plastic plastic bag with a rusted zipper. Okay, let's loosen it up with oil. Ah, oh, lovely, it's a body bag. Oh, and it grabbed us. Oh, shit. 
Oh my god. Uh, what was that? Some kind of hallucination? More like a vision. Oh god. It's a body, nearly mummified, but the smell is horrific. I can't explain it, but the eyes, ears and tongue seem to have been removed. Oh, great. Another one? Is it the person in the back? Something tells me that we should not... Oh, what now? More visions. So this tenant saw them too. What happened to him seems to be very different, almost personal. So... Well, it's moving very slowly at the very least. Something tells me that I should not... Uh, go to go too near it. Maybe is there something uh, inside the back? Maybe if I return what's missing, I'll pacify the spirit. You mean the eyes, ears, and tongue? Was it? Ah, oh, okay. Right. Hmm. Sorry, I read read that too fast. Reach in. Let's see what's in the sink. What the? Oh shit, I was not expecting that. Crap. And we died too, so apparently even losing an arm or hand means that you die. Okay, uh, well at least we reached at least we reached a checkpoint. Uh is it the autosave? Yeah, it's the autosave, okay. But I need to get Yeah, I need to get all the I need to get all the stuff. That uh, uh, again, I, I need to do all of that shit again, so be right back. Okay, we are back where we left off. Let's see, can I... No, I can't quick save here. Most likely because of the ghost here. Okay. Let's save it here, real quick. Alright, now. Okay, let's try this again. That vision, it was like I was looking... Uh, looking up through a hole, and there was a faucet. Maybe inside the garbage disposal. Check under sink. Good thing I checked. The garbage disposal was turned on. Well, okay, so that that's why we lost lost the arm arm there. So we don't reach out. Does this eye belong to the body in the back? Well, I was I I was thinking that that eye looks kind of weird, but I can't seem to remove it with my hand. Maybe I can find a spoon or something. Well, this is this this is a kitchen. That vision, it was like I was looking through a, a hole. There was a faucet maybe inside the garbage disposal. Uh, well, can we now reach it? I feel something. Squishy and wet. An eyeball. Okay, so we got one of one of the two eyes, and the pig has the last one. We just Hmm. Well, let's just leave this room for now. Okay, there's one more room that we haven't checked yet. And that is the one with the with the ghost in it. This one here. A tau a Taoist statue of some kind. It feels light lighter than it looks. Maybe that's important later. Apartment 304. The door's locked. Maybe I can find a key around here somewhere. Damn it. So the ghost bastard uh, locked it. An offering cup. I could definitely use this. Okay, I forgot about that. Oh, did we did we pick that up earlier? The knob doesn't turn. Okay. Okay, so I believe that we need to go back to back to the manager's room with all the keys in there. Okay, was it here? Uh, it's it's not this room. God damn it! Of course it's uh, of course it's it's on the other side of the damn building. Of course it is. All right, let's see. Uh, this was the room, right? Or maybe it wasn't. Damn it! I thought I thought I thought it was the, I thought it was the room with the key masters. Uh, Key making machine or whatever. 
Was it really the one that, that we first checked? I swear, if, I swear, if it's that one, I... I'll be upset. Uh, let's see. Let's see. This is the apartment manager's desk. I might be able to find a key for the storage room here. Okay, so it was this room. Found it. Nice. Okay, so uh, for what room was it again? Uh, storage key. Okay. And then we go back up. And uh, the storage was here, right? It uh, this looks like the, this looks like the right key. There we go. Sounds like a safe room. Judging from that static noise, just a rusty old chair. It looks pretty sturdy, even after all this time. That might become important later. A back scratcher. Oddly enough, these things haven't changed much over the decades. If it ain't broke, I guess. Mm -hmm. A storage locker labeled 04. It has, an, it has a numeric padlock on it. Oh, we have to figure out the code for this too. Okay. Uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers. There's not there's no number on this cage, but there is an odd lock. The lock's rusted and old, but a spider lily pattern is clearly visible. Okay. Anything else here? There's no lock. I guess it's worth looking inside. There's a lot of uh, interesting antiques in this locker. Even a gun. A very well made white kipao, I don't know what that is. An incredibly ornate pistol and a small locket. The woman in the white kipao, I recognize her from somewhere. Entry added. Is it in here in the journal? Locket. Okay. No creepy ghosts in this photo. We should have take. Did, did we take, did we take the take the gun? I mean, we are encountering just ghosts, so I'm not expecting a gun to do anything. But still, I was just wondering. Could have been useful. Okay, so I was right. This is a safe room. Okay, so now we know where the safe room is. But for now, let's just quick save here. Okay, so uh, what items do we have? Offering cup, eyeball, staple remover, plastic bottle, a wok, two jade uh, bangles to protect us from ghosts, I would imagine, a lighter, three Petamax tapes, so three safes, Gasha coin, a flashlight, and PDA. Numeric lock, okay, it's that. Anything else here before we go? A back scratcher. A rusty old chair. Oh, was there something? Something else, or is it just a? Yeah, it's just a door. What? What was in here? Oh, it's the place with the crows. Well, might as well double check if if I forgot something here. It doesn't look like it now. I need to find a way to remove the lock. The only option I can think of is weakening the steel. Weakening the steel. Hmm, was there something else here? What the? The camera went went off on its own. 
Okay, we just took, took another photo. And that room with the ghost is still locked. And then up doesn't turn. And this is locked. Guess we need the key for that. It's so light. Maybe I should look underneath. How oh, you think? Check under the statue. Ah, oh, there's a small panel screwed into the bottom of the statue. This must be for hiding a spare key. A coin or something similar could, could, could open it easily. Well, we do happen to have a gacha coin. Got it. This must be the apartment key. Okay, so I had to click this statue like, what, two, two to three times be before she got the idea that, hmm, maybe I should check underneath it. Okay, it's locked. Use the 304 key. Alright. Oh, I'll be exit through that. Okay. What's that? A pair of young girl sneakers. The shoelaces are a, are a cool hot pink color. The shoelaces are made of nylon and still in good shape. They could prove useful. Okay, so now we got shoelaces. Odd, the doorknob turns and it doesn't look like it has a lock, but some kind of force a force is keeping me from opening it. There's a note here underneath a scoop of some kind. Well, read it. It looks like a note from a local grade school. It's dated June 19, uh, 1983. Uh, Mrs. A N. G. Siu Fong, we understand your decision to remove Su Ki from the school system last year, but we hope that you will reconsider as as our enrollment period is coming to an end soon. I know that Su Ki had several incidents that forced hands on both sides, but I firmly believe that with weekly counseling we can work with and truly help Su Ki become a happy, well-adjusted young girl. Please call me if you need anything. I would like to help you and her in any way possible. Asami Fujioka, guidance counselor, uh, Phuket Sound Elementary School. Or is it Phuket? I don't know. What the heck is this thing? A giant Feng Shui mirror? I can feel a trap coming from the cracks. There appear to be a few pieces of the mirror missing. Maybe putting them back will give me some answers. Okay. An ancient uh, hand fan. Even despite the damage and damage and aging from hundred years in this place, this fan has held up well. There seems to be some kind of Taoist incantation and or prayer written on it. Okay. Lots of lots of stuff here. The table's covered in Taoist statues and tokens. Is that one of the pieces? Wait a minute. This looks like the part of the giant Feng Shui mirror. Okay. Anything else? More just sticks and offering cups. This will come in handy. Nice. A pink backpack. A small a, a small children's backpack. It's filled with school supplies. Okay. Enter the bedroom. Yeah, sure. What's the worst that could happen? A, tr a, a traditional gold ink wedding painting of two dragons encircling each other. Typically these depict a dragon and a phoenix, so two dragons must have some special significance. Hmm. A nightstand. It reminds me of the old man's a simple alarm clock. A lamp and a cup rings cover the top. There is also a Betamax tape. Great. So now, now we got four saves. Anything in here? There, there's a framed photo, framed photo of a little girl. I guess we won't take a closer look at that. An old folding camera. I never thought I would see one of these up close. Wait a minute. The marking around the lens are strange. These kanji are incredibly old. Okay, so that must have been the person who built this camera. It's obviously one of a kind. Okay, are we gonna pick it up or just leave it there? 
I guess we're just, I, I guess we're just gonna leave it there. Okay, what about here? It's a bathroom. Years, pro probably decades of time has uh, cremated a uh, mold and smells. And smells I would be better off not inhaling. A messy desk covered in covered in Taoist Taoist how do you spell that? Taoist charts, scrolls and manuscripts. There's a large and ornate book la laying open. Well, let's read the book, I suppose. Well, I guess we don't read it. A calendar from 1983. Several numbers are highlighted, somewhat randomly. I wonder if there's a correlation. I think I know what it is. It's an old manuscript detailing various types of spirits and demons from the Taoist religion. Some of these reached urban legend status and are only barely recognizable now. Looking further, uh, this book seems to describe methods of exercising these types of entities. The tenants of this apartment must have been must have been priests of some of some sort. Okay. What the The camera took a random photo and Uh, let's see. Do we have the wood plate piece, joysticks, shoelaces, uh, journal? The number 04 is written at the top, and several several of the numbers on this uh, 12 month calendar are highlighted with the same marker. In all, in all, the numbers are uh, 050919. This could be the six number combination that we need for that padlock. We're doing so. Oh, hey, it's a red ghost butterfly. That's nice. Well, before we leave here, let's put that one uh, piece to its place here. I need to find both missing pieces of the mirror. Okay, so I need to find both of them. Fine. That's fine. Why, hello. Oh shit, that was fast. Hehe, <laughs> play a game with me. Uh, something tells me that saying no is a terrible idea. Uh, okay, what's your name? I'm Suki. Oh hey, we just read about you. Let's play Bowsin Dupe, whatever that is, but no cheating. If you do, I'll be mad. Oh, it's a rock, rock paper, scissors game. Best three out of five. Uh, okay. Well, let's try with paper. Um, shit, I lost. I was too. I have to try and time this correctly. Well, let, let's try rock. Uh, shit! Oh, wait, I won. I won. Never mind. I won. I'm so good at this game, folks. Okay, uh, let's try scissors. Yes, I win. One more time. Let's try with paper. Hmm. Uh, draw. Shit. Lost. Well, paper sucks anyway. Let's try rock. It's so damn fast. Actually, following paper is more... is easier, so let's try... let's try with... let's try with scissors again. There. One. Cheater! I didn't cheat you, little bitch. And now we die, uh, don't we? Oh, we didn't die. Well, that's good. Uh, what the hell happened? The floor must have collapsed. It looks like I'm in some kind of basement. 
uh, it, it looks like <clears throat> excuse me it looks like i it looks like i'm in some kind of basement i've got to find a way out of here oh so we fell down great the lab is on the other side of this rubble but where the hell's the exit did the city build over build over it at some point either way i need to find another way out or at least a way back up to the upper floors this debris it's filled with glass and other dangers if i can find something to push the rubble away i can go back to the lobby okay god damn it and i need and i was thinking about ending this, ending this episode here and going back to the safe room oh there's some arcade machines this is a nice, this is a very cool basement. Yeah, okay. Well, you know what, folks? I'm gonna end this episode here. I was planning to go to the safe room and uh, save manually there, but that's not an option anymore. Thanks, game. But I can quick save at the very least. So, let's do that. And, and in the next episode, well, let's try to find our way out of this basement. So, until next time. Thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Sense, a cyberpunk ghost story.